G'day everybody and welcome back to Sydney Trains Vlogs. Today we are at Martin Place. To start off with in this video we'll be having a bit of a look at the concourse before we head down to the platforms. There are also um, a few boards showing some history of Martin Place Station. So going down the stairs here and walking um, to the concourse here at, um, at Martin Place. It's like, uh, it's like stepping back into the 80s. It's kind of cool. It's like stuck in time. The old ticket windows there uh, where the uh, information is about the Eastern Suburbs Railway and Martin Place Station. Okay, you know the drill. If you've seen the previous videos, if you want to have a bit of a read of this, just pause the video, then resume when you're done. Beautiful S set sitting on the platform with the good old Becklebot windows. Before heading through the ticket gates, we'll just see what uh, what's up with these escalators. It's showing um, Macquarie Streets and Phillips Streets and uh, bus stands A and B. I don't think I've ever been up this way before, to be honest with you. So the reason why I'm uh, doing a pretty, I guess you could say, detailed view of Martin Place Station and I haven't done the same with the rest of the Eastern Suburbs Railways is because, um, well, I've always found Martin Place quite interesting. So this is X3 up to Phillips Street North. Alright, so you've got the stairs up to Phillips Street. And then across the way there's another staircase to Phillip Street South, which um, yeah, is just on the uh, other side of the road. This exit has a nice old photo of Martin Place Station just downstairs at the concourse. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Correction. This is actually a photo from up here. From 1979. So you've got the stairs that side and that side. So we'll just head down to the platforms, give you a bit of a look at that and uh, also feature a train or two. So you yeah, have platform one, which is for trains uh, to Cronulla, uh, Sutherland Waterfall, and down to the south coast. Platform two are for trains to Bondi Junction. And 
interesting bit of artwork up there. Awarded to Martin Place Station by the Illuminating Engineering Society of Australia, New South Wales for meritorious lighting. Again, if you want to pause and have a bit of a read, to do with that uh, mural up there. And there's the plaque for the opening of the Eastern Suburbs Railway, officially opened by the Honourable Neville Rann, who was uh, Premier of New South Wales uh, on the opening day, Saturday 23rd of June 1979. another plaque there just have a bit of a pause and read if you like As you can see there the old city rail logo and the train just arrived so I'll just to show you the tiles so we can so we can count them and uh, <laughs> no, really, just kidding. Up we go. And here are the escalators down to Martin Place platforms. Martin Place will very soon have a metro station. Metro station which will take passengers from uh, Martin Place to Sydenham and later on Bankstown and uh, also the other direction from Martin Place to Chatswood, Rouse Hill and Talawong via Epping. Now, not 100% sure, um, Martin Place is actually a station I haven't really done too much research on as to what's happening with the metro, um, like tunnelling, uh, like, you know, the concourse, etc, etc, etc. Layout is what I was thinking of, that's the word. Um, but I think that you can actually get onto Martin Place Metro via the Martin Place Sydney Trains platforms. Possibly, anyway, I'm not too sure. Okay, eight minutes for the next train. So I heard that you could actually possibly get to the Martin Place platforms, metro platforms from the Sydney trains platforms. However, I don't think that that's exactly going to be the case. Let's just zoom out and give you all a look at Martin Place station. Skip over to the other side. Yeah, okay, so um, with me having a bit of a, a yap about accessing uh, Martin Place Metro via Martin Place Sydney trains is um, is because of the, the works that are happening at this end of the platform.
There we go. That's what I was looking for. From behind this wall, customers will be able to access the new Sydney Metro platforms directly beneath us. Sorry, wide angle's a little bit, a little bit grainy. All right, so you see the you are here part, or at the end of the platform. So behind the wall, there will be, um, I guess, escalators and lifts, or just a ramp. Who knows? Um, down to the Sydney Metro platforms at Martin Place here. So that's quite interesting. Very cool. As I was coming down the escalator before, I was going on about the, the access to Sydney Metro from Sydney Trains platforms, and that and I was just thinking at the other end of the platform, no, I swear that there was some kind of construction at the end of the platform which indicated the access to the Metro platforms from Sydney Trains platforms. Um, but yes, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> get this uh, Bondi Junction train arriving and departing and then we'll head over um, to the other platform uh, where I'll get a train back to the city. Right, that was the Bondi Junction train. Um, Kings Cross, Edgecliff, Bondi Junction is its stopping pattern. Now we've got a train over on the other platform due in a few minutes. All right, my train to Central is a Cronulla service due in about five minutes time. All right, this is my train, so that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, share the video, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you soon. Ciao.